Greg Rex with the Fantasy Grounds Academy. We're we'll doing a video on character creation in Mongoose Traveler. So to start, I just want to show that my library is already preloaded with the core books and source books I could use for character creation. I've loaded those through my modules. Uh, I have also pinned uh, my hotbar with a few things. I already have my reference manual out of the core rules just by dragging and dropping it here. I've grabbed the uh, character creation image, the flowchart, famous traveler character creation flowchart here. So that's available for a quick reference out of my hotbar. And we're going to attempt to create a uh, Navy character, hopefully a flight, some kind of pilot type. So that is also in my hotbar for quick reference. All right, to start, when you first log into Fantasy Grounds as a player, your sidebar should look like this. It is missing buttons you need for character creation. So we're gonna configure that by going to Options up here, OPT. We're gonna hit our sidebar button here in this window. And we want to add careers, skills, and races. I'm also gonna recommend we add tables uh, for our character creation, whether we have a mishap, uh, advancements, stuff like that, mustering out benefits. Now, while we are in options, this is a referee option only for your referees, for your campaigns. If you wanna use uh, optional characteristics outside the six core strength, dex, endurance, intellect, education, and social standing, you could add them by scrolling to the bottom here. And you could add psionics as a popular one to add, uh, or the traveler companion characteristics are also available. Go ahead and close this. We'll just be using our base. Next up is creating a new record. So we're gonna do a new PC record here. And we're gonna create a new character by hitting this add item. There is no character wizard for this rule set in Fantasy Grounds. We're gonna do some old fashioned dice rolling and pen and papering a uh, record sheet. So we're gonna be Greg Rex. All right, so creating characteristics are 2D rolls on a, in using a dice pool. I'm gonna use a optional out of the Traveler Companion, the boon. So we're gonna do two of the characteristics gonna be rolled on a boon roll. So to roll these out, I'm just simply gonna right click on our D6 and select two. I'm gonna do this four times to create my pool. And then for my two boons, All right, so these are my six characteristics I'm gonna use for Traveler uh, character creation. And I do know I wanna be a pilot and I wanna do that through the Navy career. So I'm gonna take a quick look at this Navy career. All right, keep in mind to qualify, you need an intellect of a six. Uh, if I wanna get commissioned, I'm gonna need a social of an eight. And if I wanna survive each term, I am going to, as a flight, uh, need a dex of seven or higher. So keeping these in mind, I want to keep my intellect and dex high and possibly my social. So, start off by doing dex at 11. I'm going to go uh, probably make an Aslan, so I'm going to lose uh, some dex and gain strength once I automate my, my race here. You'll see that here in a second. Um, intellect, definitely want that as an 11, so I get an entry. I want to use one of my eights for social standing. And eight. All right. Once my characteristics are set, I want to add my race. So I'm going to be in uh, Aslan. So I'm going to go over here on my sidebar and select races. I have the core rules set. So just drag and drop it right to my sheet. The automation will happen. Strength plus two, dex minus two. Um, we have the heightened senses and the do clause added. The do clause even added to my actions tab as a rollable attack. All right, next up is setting my portrait. So I'm going to go double click and then double click in my data. And then there's a FG sci-fi. Double click and looking for a kitty. There we go. 
That's my token and portrait. Next up, uh, going through character creation, uh, there to, to get qualification, uh, you just simply make a intellect roll, and you could double click that here when it's that, that phase of the character creation. Okay, great, I got in. So I am in the Navy. I can start by doing my terms by going to my personal tab, do a career history. My first term is gonna be Navy. And my branch will be, I'm gonna select it as flight because that's what I'm gonna go into. Go ahead, I'm gonna close out my races. We're gonna kind of keep this over here for reference. And we're just going to go through the flow chart, you know, as a table on our zero day character creation session. Or if you're just making a character, you're going to kind of do what I'm about to do. And I'm just going to show how to get uh, some things added into our skills. So in the Navy, you can roll for your your events, uh, your service skills. Uh, if you just roll on the table, you just make a single roll. I got a six. So I'm a gun combat. If I roll the gun combat, I could go to skills. Right. I'm going to scroll until I find gun combat. I'll just drag and drop it on. You can see gun combat has been added to my sheet. Probably going to be modified by my decks. Right? You can set that. And we can go ahead and just kind of fast forward. And I know I'm going to probably be a pilot of some kind. Uh, I do want to show that pilots um, with the specialization, I don't have to select pilot and then select pilot spacecraft by just selecting the specialization in the you know the ones in the parentheses. It'll give me my pilot zero by default, and it'll give me my specialization at a one minimum to begin. And over time, if you increase this up to four, you could just manually update it by clicking in the box and changing the value. And something I didn't point out, unskilled skill is default for everybody. Uh, so if you end up having to make a skill check and you don't have the skill, it is available for you all, by default. Uh, and I'll show you the jack of all trade while we're in here. All right, so you will not roll on a jack of all trades to make a unskilled check. Uh, so if this is at level one, it's gotta be a specialization. When you make a unskilled check, it should be at a minus two. See, minus two, because jack of all trade, one is applied. Next up is how do we equip and have actions. So if I go and go to items and I want to have a gun of some kind, so air rifle, first thing I come across, I drag and drop it here. All right, and it is equipped by default. You could unequip it, carry it, um, you know, you set the location to a locker, right? So you know that it's in a locker. But it doesn't matter how you have it set. Once it's on the record sheet, it will be in your actions tab. So the air rifle is here. And as we go through character creation, we're going to go through terms and we can start f uh, finishing this off. So I have eight events. So if I go to my tables, one option. And I have the character creation group set up, and I could go to Navy events, and I could roll on that. And it's doing the nested tables, so life event. Uh, I got a new contact. I'm going to drag and drop that up in here. All right, so it's there. All right, very cool. And my rank, uh, say I don't get promoted. Does it have the ranks on here? Here we go. I'm still a rank zero crewman. And we just keep going through. Hopefully I survive and start a new term in the Navy and I keep rolling and following through the flowchart, gaining more skills, uh, abilities, mustering out benefits, life events. And we just keep building this character sheet out on our zero day character creation or on our own. All right, I think that's everything. Thanks for watching.